Carla Williams is not going to be silenced. She says she's another victim of Robert Doyle, the former Lord Mayor of Melbourne. Frustrated with the investigation process, Carla is now speaking out with a warning for anyone who's experienced sexual harassment. We were, we were, just, we were just chatting and uh, then all of a sudden his hand is on my thigh and I, I freeze. It's, well, this is unwarranted and, and unwanted and he's just left his hand there. The Lord Mayor drank red, lots of red. Carla Williams says she saw red. His behaviour was disgusting. It was awful. Carla, this is the scene of the encounter with yes. Robert Doyle that night. It is. How were you feeling when you came here? Your then fiancé was going to receive a very important award. I felt very honoured. But it wasn't long, Carla claims, before honour became dishonour. It violated boundaries and it was wrong. And then he touched you again? Yes, and each time he did, his hand was moving. Well, his hand was moving toward my... my vagina. This is the first time that Carla Williams has detailed publicly exactly what she claims happened that night. Inappropriate touching, lascivious looks, even insults from Robert Doyle. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. It's the night of nights for Melbourne Health, one of Australia's leading healthcare providers. Robert Doyle is the chair. He's also the Lord Mayor of Melbourne. To be honest with you, I didn't really know much. Just other than, yes, I, I, I knew that he was an important figure in our city. It's Black Tie, VIP, and Carla, a real estate agent, is seated beside the Lord Mayor. Her fiancé, Mark Walterfang, is a professor of psychiatry with Melbourne Health and about to be recognised for groundbreaking research. I was excited for Mark and I felt very proud. And when you left that night, tell me how you were feeling. Violated, shocked, violated. Really, there aren't words to describe how I felt. But there are words aplenty now. Anger and resentment for Robert Doyle and frustration and condemnation for Melbourne City Council. Do you feel let down by the council? Absolutely. 100%. More than a year after the council began investigating Carla's claims, the young mother is no closer to any resolution of her complaint against Robert Doyle. There are many flaws in this process and um, I'm incredibly disappointed. Uh, I don't want to be setting an example for the future. I'm waiting for City of Council to just to make a change and I want my life back on track. I don't need this in my life. A lot has changed since that night in 2016. Carla and Mark have married. Robert Doyle resigned in disgrace from the council early last year after two women, former councillor Tessa Sullivan and councillor Cathy Oak, alleged sexually inappropriate behaviour. Mr Doyle has repeatedly denied the accusations. Your feelings? Frustrated, disappointed, let down. And a bit sick. Yeah, well, I really do want to get on with my life. But an independent investigation by Ian Freckleton QC found Mr Doyle's behaviour could constitute sexual harassment and gross misconduct. It found he deliberately placed his hand on Miss Sullivan's breast and repeatedly put his hand on Councillor Oak's thigh and on a different occasion tried to kiss her. On each occasion, the investigation found Mr Doyle had consumed substantial amounts of red wine. As I approached the table, he stood up, he had a big smile. He seemed very kind. Yeah, he seemed charming. I was disarmed by his charm. And, um, and then we sat down. And then claims Carla, the night went downhill from there. You have to remember, this was a work function. Robert Doyle was the chair of Melbourne Health and Carla's partner, Mark, was a psychiatrist there. She says, as the night flowed, those pleasantries became unpleasantries. So I said to him, uh, you must enjoy attending these events. And he, he, his rebuttal was, no, they're boring. And as he did say, 
uh, that he, he pointed to the red wine um, that was being poured and he said that the night's salvation is the red. The night's salvation, the red wine? Yes. What was the Lord Mayor's demeanour? Initially he seemed quite friendly, uh, but it became instantly apparent that he liked drinking. I had never seen anyone drink as much um, alcohol as I, or red wine specifically, as I did uh, that night. I was shocked. Shocked too, she claims, at Mr Doyle's reference to her partner, Mark. He looked at Mark and said, how did you end up with a stiff like that? With a stiff like that? Yes. One, he doesn't know me at all, didn't speak to me effectively. And, and two, in the light of what's happened, I, it's hardly surprising that he might be disparaging to Carla's partner. When Carla told you what had happened, how did you feel? Stunned, blindsided, really. But at the same time, guilty and incredibly angry at the nature of what had happened to Carla. Mark's award was for 15 years of research in neuropsychiatry. At what stage did you realise that something was happening? There was a point in the evening where uh, Carla had let me know how uncomfortable she was uh, and, and we had to swap seats. Where was Mark when he was touching you? He was beside me and this occurred the entire time that Mark was beside me. Mark, did you see anything that night? Uh, about as much as I saw was his hand in the small of her lower back. Uh, the, the table obscured uh, most other things. Carla claims Mr Doyle made a comment about the solo violinist. This woman, she was attractive. Um, she wore a, a sheer, short, shimmery sequin dress. He leaned in and said I would look great in that. And he said that I was beautiful and his uh, eyes traced my figure. Why didn't you slap him? Well, one, I'm, uh, the event was about Mark. It was a very important event for Melbourne Health. And as if I'm going to attack the Lord Mayor. Carla made a formal complaint to Melbourne City Council. She was interviewed by senior lawyer Ian Freckleton QC and wanted to be anonymous. That was almost 15 months ago and still no public report from the council. Carla says instead of getting answers from Melbourne City Council or any form of satisfaction, she's hit the bureaucratic brick wall and has totally changed her view on how women should respond to unwanted advances. If you're a victim of sexual assault or misconduct, there is no point in making a complaint in a civil context. You're better off just going to the police because had I just gone to Victoria Police, I would have saved myself the pain and anguish of the last 12 months. And that's exactly what Carla did in January this year. She claims encouraged by the council. Victoria Police is investigating her complaint, but there's a twist. What they failed to do is when they mentioned I should go to Victoria Police, they should have said and prefaced, if you do go to Victoria Police, it will stifle an outcome with our investigation with Ian Freckleton. They didn't do that. Well, as they say, uh, you know, justice delayed is justice denied, and it is. And in this case, I mean, it's more, it would be more than a year since she laid her complaint. Oh, it's, I, I, I'm pretty right in saying that. You are. Yeah. You are. Now, that, that is wrong. Senator Darren Hinch runs the Justice Party. He's offered to support Carla in her fight for fairness. Men in high places who behave abominably think because of who they are, what position they hold, they can get away with it, and they will. And in the past, they have. It seems that the only way that Carla can get any sort of justice is to do this. And as her husband, I completely support her. She needs a just outcome, and it needs to be now. I am not going to be silenced. I'm not going to go away, which both sides, both City of Melbourne and Robert Doyle wanted. For his part, the disgraced ex-Lord Mayor says he's too mentally unwell to answer Carla's allegations. I personally think that it's rubbish. These days, life for the former Lord Mayor seems to be relatively normal. He's out and about, smiling with neighbours, shaking hands, having coffee, going for a stroll. Robert Doyle, you have children, you have grandchildren, and you're a public figure. 
you should just man up to what you've done. We all make mistakes. I've made mistakes in my life. But for the benefit of yourself, your family, and for the, vi for the victims, apologise for your mistakes and let all of us get on with our lives. Melbourne City Council denies encouraging Carla to lodge a formal police complaint. Dr Freckleton's findings can be made public by council once the police investigation is complete. That statement and one from the Department of Health and Human Services is on our website.